Guest Steve Butter Fan TV, outside the Riverside, we're in the fourth round of the Cup. Joel, travelled all the way from Bristol to see us today, you weren't disappointed mate? Definitely not mate, uh, I thought we were absolutely brilliant, uh, apart from the first five minutes, everything else unbelievable, try all right today mate. What a player he was today, he was untouchable, untouchable. Braithwaite was, uh, was, all, was all right, down and fantastic. Uh, chased down every single ball that he could, and he was he was he was unbelievable. The full team was absolutely fantastic today, and everybody saying Tony Pulis is all this long ball. I can't remember us kicking the ball in the air, apart from Randolph kicking the ball in the air. It was all on the floor. It was beautiful. What a game! Like you say, two games in. Well, half a game last week yeah. and today. Like you say, this boring tag Tony Pulis. It, it hasn't followed me by the looks of it. Definitely not, mate. That's five goals in the last two games that we've scored. Do you know what I mean? We couldn't do that in th three or four games with Monk. So I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I know it's only early, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, and we've only got him on the on the short term contract and things like that. But keep scoring like that, mate. We're, we're going to be laughing, absolute laughing. Is Gested threatening to take a Sambalonga's place? No, not from that performance. Uh, he done. A f he was. He done what he, he done what he could from what he had. Uh, but again, if we're not playing long, if we're if we're not going to play a long ball, why play Gested? If we're playing on the floor, then you get a Samba Longa, he can do a quick turn etc. and all that. But uh, yeah, he needs he needs crosses into the box and he needs to, to really want them though, because he didn't really he, he didn't really show today. He did he had a good game, but he didn't really show that he wanted the goal. So Braithwaite getting on the score sheet can only do him good. Well yeah, his confidence has been a bit battered for the past couple of days since the injury and things like that. In the past couple of games he he wasn't himself. Today he wasn't fully himself. But he's still got the goal, that's what he needs. Carry on, mate, carry on. Second half, we allowed Sunderland to come at us. We allowed him a lot of the ball, even though they weren't hurting us. Obviously, corners and free kicks were quite dangerous coming into the box. Then, obviously, Dan, Darren Randolph produces that save to keep the score 2-0. And it was a beautiful save as well, wasn't it? Couldn't have done better myself. So, fair play, Randolph, fair play to you, mate. Uh, but we need to stop that, though, second half. Half-time, we do. We, we seem to come, out, uh, come back from half-time and we do seem a bit... Uh, just a bit passive. It, we just let let the let the game go, uh, get beyond us. But today they didn't score from it. Uh, Bristol, when the last time I interviewed you, they had two goals. Now we kept the clean sheet, and I think we're uh, I think we're laughing now. So I'm happy. Joel, thanks for Thank coming you. on for a fantasy.